Hello, Scorpio. Amy Energy here with your weekly tarot message. If you have not, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so that you'll be notified whenever I make a new video for you. All right, Scorpio, we're going to be doing this um, rainbow spread this week from my new deck, the Pride Tarot. We'll be working with another new deck, the Rebel deck, so that is going to be a lot of fun. So let's get into it here. We're pulling out six cards from the Pride Tarot for life, healing, sunlight, nature, serenity, and spirit. I have some high John incense burning here for us for good luck, protection, and prosperity. deck we do have the tower so could really be some wild things going on this week especially in our outer world around us could be some interesting energy okay um for our life portion of this reading we have the two of swords coming out and with this energy you really see that um these two connected individuals you know it's like the two opposing forces inside of you they both have the same goal but they really have a different way of, of getting to the resolve all right let me clarify here all right we have the wheel of fortune in reverse so i feel like not really making a lot of progress we may be feeling like you know we're just in this downward spiral like just things are not going the way that we want and it i do believe it is because of this conflict inside we are fighting with ourselves over this okay now our healing energy we have the ace of cups coming out here so I do feel like this week, Scorpio, it is a really good time to be really open and loving. Give love, receive love. Um, this is raw potential. So, yes. All right. I feel like we love what we do here. In our healing energy, we have this Ace of Cups coming out and clarifying it is the Three of Pentacles. So I feel like we really... Um, we love what we do or we're really passionate about the work that we're doing and the people that we're working with um but there is some healing that needs to be done here maybe you know we have them maybe we need to offer a little bit more love to the people who we are working together with here now our sunlight our bright spot in the week is this king of pentacles so i feel like you're really in a place to, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's being clarified with the Six of Swords. So I do feel like this week we may have, you know, really been able to get the resources together to make a move here. And I do feel like it could be a physical move because of the clarifying the king of pen pentacles. You know, this could be us very physically moving, but we could just be moving on to calmer waters, moving on from a rough patch in our life. However, we are taking our cares with us. So even though we do have everything we need here with the king of pentacles, I feel like we're acting here we're acting the way we need to act and doing the things we need to do to be secure and stable. And um, I do feel like this is opening up a path forward for us. Um, 
but there is some concern here with the six you know i do feel like we have a lot weighing on our minds right now despite being completely okay we do have a lot on our minds um but yeah definitely scorpio this is a week for you to really be generous i feel like with the ace of cups coming out also the king definitely give what you can all right so in nature we have the five of swords coming out here so with this energy this is you know fighting essentially this is a battle and you're victorious here scorpio i am feeling that absolutely oh my gosh the lovers coming out so this is a battle we've been fighting it here we've really been fighting love we've been fighting love we don't want to let love in here and it is probably because we have gotten hurt in the past however i do feel like you know the way that we're connecting with nature or the way that spirit is advising us to connect with nature is to do it with the person that we love i do feel like um, you know, Scorpio, if this is resonating for you, you may, you may know exactly who would just love to explore nature with you. And I feel like it would almost be a peace offering at this point. It's very interesting energy coming out. So keep in mind this reading, if I haven't said this, may not resonate for every Scorpio placement. I do them for all 12 zodiac signs. So check out your other placements for sure. Um, but I mean, it's just really beautiful. And, you know, even we as human beings, you know, are part of nature. So, I mean, maybe this is just really you getting to the core of who you are and who you are to somebody else or who they are to you. With this lovers coming out, I do feel like this is a week we have the Ace of Cups also coming out and healing. This is a week to heal this relationship, whatever this relationship is. I feel like we may really work well with this person, but we may also have a romantic connection with this person. Okay, so for our serenity, we have the Page of Wands coming out. So this is the roots, the roots of magic, I would say. This is someone who's really just, very passionate but it's it's the beginning here all right we have the queen of cups coming out in reverse so could be a little bit overly sensitive um hurt hurt this is a, someone who is hurting the queen of cups in reverse can be very manipulative and uh you know, as much as the Queen of Cups in the upright is a good omen, the Queen of Cups in the upright is the most giving and receiving energy in the whole deck. It's just really lovely. Um, in reversed, this energy, I mean, as much as the Queen of Cups can, can be a force for love, reversed, oh my gosh, can really be a disaster because... This is someone who's been disparaged. This is someone who has been maybe taken advantage of, but they're, for whatever reason, they may be traumatized, but they're going to be projecting the worst side of themselves, the worst side of love. Now here in our spirit energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles coming out here and so I do feel like we're moving forward here slowly, 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 because I feel like we just, with the seven of pentacles coming out in reverse, we are just overcome with worry almost with, with the situation. Like we're trying to strategize every way to make it work other than just doing the work just doing it you're the king of pentacles for crying out loud you can just do it you have the ability but 
this is the energy that's at the bottom of the deck here is this ten of swords so Scorpio you may think that you're keeping everything together on the surface but there's some underlying issues here that I mean they're coming up you're feeling it in your life that's why you're feeling like you can't move forward well it's very clear why you can't move forward because you're not following your heart you need to like quit fighting what you love it's And if you're trying to approach, this is genderless, by the way, my reading doesn't have a gender, but there is feminine and masculine energies. So if, if I'm ever addressing gender, just full disclosure, that's what it is. But we have a page here trying to approach a queen. So, I mean, no wonder she's in reverse. <laughs> no wonder. All right, so now we're gonna get into the real deal here. You don't need me to tell you any more. These cards are gonna tell us everything else we need to know here. I love these cards. This is the Rebel Deck. Um, so at Rebel Deck on Instagram. All right, so we have here in our life, okay, so we've already went through the two of swords, we have these two opposing energies inside of us, the wheel of fortune, we just can't move forward, and then we have love, okay, and it says, get some, give some, it will cheer your ass up, okay, so, yeah, get some, give some, hello, and then we have the ace of cups coming out and healing, it will literally heal you to just give love and receive love, give love to everyone, there's no reason why you shouldn't be giving love to every single person that you encounter, whether it's at work or wherever, okay? Love one another. It is important, okay? You are being shady. Watch out. Shit could get ugly, all right? So there's your warning. Don't be shady, Scorpio. You're being shady. All right, winning. You got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit, okay? Don't ruin that shit, Scorpio. You got a good thing going. So I do feel like you're ruining this shit because you're you're the king of pentacles and you're really secure and stable and really able to take action. You're really capable of taking action on what you want here. But instead, you're letting all of these cares, you're, you're moving on, but you're taking your cares with you. You're, you got all this all these burdens in your thoughts you know I feel like we're just moving really slowly here and every single step of the way we're thinking what could go wrong but what if this happens but what if that happens and we're almost creating this scenario for ourselves so here nature get into nature you know get out of your thoughts and get into your body and maybe get into someone else's body here all right i don't know but stop texting stop stalking stop checking on that person just fucking stop spend your time on someone worth it don't waste it on ridiculousness so <sighs> i mean that's pretty cut and dry here scorpio I don't know who you're spending your time with. The lovers is coming out here. So what I do know is there is someone around you, okay? And I really do feel like it is this queen of cups, whether it's a male, female, non-binary person. It, the queen of cups, I do believe, is connected to this lover's card here. That's what I'm sensing. And I do feel like there is someone, Scorpio, in your circle that you that is true love. There's true love there. I mean, major arcana coming out. Yeah, the only major arcana coming out in your reading is this Wheel of Fortune reverse, the tower, and the lovers. So I really feel like 
we're, ig we're ignoring our feelings or ignoring this person to a certain extent. We're ignoring love in our life in general, though. I'm really feeling that. I do feel like there is a there is a person here who is affected, who is now a queen in reverse. Um, however, you know there is there is love here, and there is a need to love. That is, it's slowing up your life, it's halting your progress, and until you root your intentions in love. You, everything you build will continue to get torn down by the tower. Okay, I promise you that, Scorpio. I promise you. I promise you. You must root all of your intentions in love today, tomorrow, and forever. Because every single time, every single time, you do not root your intentions in love, eventually this happens. I don't care how big you could build your tower. If it wasn't rooted on love, it's, it's coming all down. It's all coming down. Okay, so then we have Serenity. Page of Wands, Queen of Cups in reverse. So I do feel like there is, with this card coming out, this could be related to work here with your Page of Wands. Somehow this is all in, in, intertwined here. So we do have shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Okay, so Scorpio, maybe this is your energy here. Maybe it's your, maybe you're the one who you're disparaging. You're disparaging yourself because you're a beautiful, sensitive person, but instead you're hammering yourself. You're hurting yourself. You're not loving yourself. You're telling yourself that you need to be different, okay? You want to be the king of pentacles, but you're the queen of cups, all right? You're open and loving and sensitive. And you're the king of pentacles, too. You can embody both of those energies. There's no reason why you can't. But I do feel like there is an energy here where you may be putting too much pressure on yourself to produce, like tangible results and that's not what life is about it never is okay so spirits coming out and you get the knight of pentacles okay so that's the slowest the slowest night in the deck all right it's slow things take time especially you know that tangible success that we're after here with the king of pentacles it, it takes time and I do feel like we're very impatient here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit is literally saying to me loud and clear here that you're, you're blocking yourself, okay? So stop obsessing. You are not the fucking center of the universe, Scorpio. Maybe you thought you were, but you're not. <coughs> Excuse me. You are not the center of the fucking universe, Scorpio. You're really not. Um... So you're going through some shit, some tough shit, all right? You're going through some tough shit right now. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it, okay? Handle that shit, Scorpio. Root your intentions in love. Tell people you love them. Tell them, if not with words, tell them in other ways, okay? Bring someone a coffee. Do something nice for somebody. Do... Show love, give love, receive love. This is all going to help you because you're, I just feel like we're all out of sorts. We may even be disparaging somebody in our life. Um, and we don't want to do that, okay? We have the lovers coming out. So love yourself, love others, give love, receive love, love freely. I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio. Please check out the description box below. Follow me on Instagram. Book a personal with me through my Etsy store. Um, please like this video. Comment on this video. I am going to be doing bonus readings for whichever fixed sign has the most activity on their video. So you are in competition with Aquarius, Leo, and uh, Taurus. So hopefully you will have the most activity on your video and then I will be able to do a bonus reading for you. All right, Scorpio, leaving it there. Have a great week. I love you. Take care.